Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're going to be checking out the RS line or reef sumps by eShops. Yeah, that's better. So if you like simple, quiet, and functional, and maybe really dig the color yellow, then this Berlin-style sump might be exactly what you're looking for. Modern sumps range from simplistic to feature-rich, from budget-friendly to wallet-busting, from... I think you get the idea. The truth is, a sump is just a simple box of water that sits below the tank, and you can get them in all different shapes, sizes, configurations, and colors to match your specific needs. Not every reefer is gonna want every last bell and whistle out there. Having more chambers and more baffles often just means having more nooks and crannies and small places you have to get into to clean. All those fine details and features also end up bumping up the price, so for reefers who appreciate simplicity or just want to avoid spending more money than they have to, a clean-looking, straightforward Berlin-style sump is a great choice. eShop's Reef Sump is very much a simple and elegant sump with a quiet water entry system, filter socks and coarse foam block to cover your mechanical filtration, and a nice big single chamber for a protein skimmer, heater, and any other equipment you'd like to run, you know, be it an algae reactor or a chemical media reactor, followed by the last chamber, which is for your return pump. This is a great example of keeping things simple and functional. And I must say, while yellow isn't my go-to color, this does look pretty dang good, and it's winning me over, so it's pretty slick. In the box, you'll find the reef sump with its lid and the foam block already installed, the filter sock or socks, depending on the model, the red drain pipe, and the ribbed drain hose. There are four different sizes in the reef sump lineup that you can choose from. The RS75, the RS100 that I've got here, the RS200, and the RS300. They're rated for up to, you guessed it, 75, 100, 200, and 300 gallon aquariums respectively, with the smallest measuring 20 inches in length with a 10 inch width, and the largest at 36 inches in length with a 14 inch width, while all sharing the same 16 inch height, meaning they should be a really easy fit for most standard aquarium stands. The flow path is really simple. Water enters the sump on the far left and flows up an initial baffle into the filter sock section, through the sock into the first large chamber, then through a second baffle set with a foam block, and then into the last chamber where the return pump will then send it back up to the tank. It's a very straightforward design, very similar to the Berlin sumps of the past, but with that quiet water entry system, which is a really nice upgrade. As far as drains go, you'll get a single drain on the 75 and 100 models, which works perfectly for small single drain overflow systems like the X Aqua in out, or even a Herbie style overflow if you add a second emergency drain pipe over the skimmer section. The 200 and the 300, on the other hand, come with three drains each, which is gonna work really great for those bean animal style overflow boxes, which are super popular. Circling back to the mechanical filtration that this sun provides, you'll get a filter sock or socks, depending on the model, along with a coarse foam block. The 75 and 100 come with a standard circular filter sock, while the larger 200 and 300 use rectangular socks. Now, if you're planning on using a drop-in fleece roller or want to use mesh instead of felt socks, the 75 and 100 models with their standard circular socks are going to be the way to go. Like I was mentioning earlier, these sumps have one large skimmer section and are definitely geared towards the Berlin style of filtration, but there's nothing stopping you from using a smaller skimmer alongside an algae reactor, zeovit reactor, or just about any other style of nutrient control, or skipping the skimmer and reactors and setting it up as a refugium. If you are planning to make the most out of that single chamber, pairing up this sump with a space-saving model of skimmer is your best bet. These sumps don't include any sort of euro bracing on the top, which makes it a really easy fit for a number of accessories, like dosing tube or probe holders that are designed to clamp on rimless tanks. It also means it's easier to use the entire footprint of each chamber since you don't lose that few inches near the top of the sump where the euro brace would be. eShops manages this by fully enclosing the filter sock section and by having that last baffle reach all the way to the top of the sump, adding rigidity to those longer front and rear panels. When it eventually comes time for that dreaded sump maintenance, this is gonna be a pretty easy sump to work with. Rinse out or eventually replace your filter socks and that foam block, drop in a CJ Ultra Zero or a modified power head with a vacuum tip to remove any of that built up mum or debris, and you're good to go. 
The only little spot that might take a bit extra effort to clean is the water entry area, but that little power head with a vacuum tip attached will be pretty easy to slide back there and get all that crud out. So if a quiet, simple sump matches your reefing mantra, or maybe you just really love the color yellow, you can pick up an eShop's reef sump for yourself by clicking right here.